Hi guys, welcome to ChatGPT and social media. So our topic for today and what we're gonna research through ChatGPT is digital detox strategies. Now, how many of you know what digital detox is or how many of you have already done it? So it's pretty simple. It's just simply taking a break from social media, taking a break from the internet, um, just kind of giving yourself time to regroup, um, recharge, you know, and even reduce some stress. So what I'm going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to ask chat GPT, just how easy it would be to do a digital detox and what steps we need to take in order to do so. So let's move on to chat GPT and find out what they have to say. Hey guys, so we're back to ask chat GPT just how easy it could be to do a digital detox. So we're gonna ask chat GPT how to how to do a digital detox. Okay, so ChatGPT says, start by setting specific time limits for device usage each day, which is very smart. Designate tech-free zones in your home like the bedroom. Replace the screen time with activities like reading or outdoor pursuits. Consider using apps that track and limit your screen time. Now that's interesting because I've never seen an app that actually does that. Finally, communicate your digital detox plans with family and friends to gain support. So let's ask ChatGPT how to use apps to, excuse me, that track and limit. your screen time. Hmm. This should be very interesting. So how to use, if I spell it correctly, how to use apps that track and limit your screen time. Wow, here we go. On most smartphones, okay, go to settings and look for features like screen time, that's through Apple, or digital well-being through Android. Within these sections, you can set daily limits for app usage, view activity reports, and schedule downtime. And downtime is always good. Some third-party apps like Freedom or Moment offer additional features for tracking and limiting screen time across various devices. Install the chosen app, follow the setup instructions, and customize the settings according to your preference. So as you can see, Digital detox can be very helpful for individuals, especially if you spend way too much time on social media. Thank you for viewing, and please be sure to subscribe to our channel.